Fearless. And hello, everybody, and welcome to the Fearless Floyd Show. And again, it is Friday night, and I wanted to read you guys something that um, was brought to my attention on the original Mark Z show tonight by Dr. Kia Pruitt. And uh, man, I found it fascinating. I wanted to share it with you guys. <clears throat> It's the Def Department of Defense Directive 5105.76. The planning for presidential transitions and the transition of political appointees and other officials. Now, you can take that for whatever you want, but it is what it is. Originating component, Office of the Director of Administration and Management, effective August 30th, 2022. Change one effective February 3rd, 2023, which was a week ago today. Releaseability cleared for public release, available on the Directives Division website. And I've been there. Um, this explains everything. Reissues and cancels DOD Directive 5105.76. Quote, transition of administration appointees and other officials. Close quote, May 26, 2017. Deputy Secretary of Defense Memorandum, quote, designation of a senior career official, SCO, for each Office of Secretary of Defense, OSD, Principal Staff Assistant, PSA, close quote, December 9th, 2010, approved by Kathleen H. Hicks, Deputy Secretary of Defense, change one approved by Kathleen H. Hicks, Deputy Secretary of Defense. Purpose. Pursuant to the authority vested in the Secretary of Defense, SECDEF, by Section 113 of Title 10 United States Code and the, quote, Presidential Transition Act of 1963, close quote, as amended, published as a note under Section 102 of Title 3 United States Code, this issuance establishes policy for the transfer of authority from outgoing to incoming senior officials during the transition between presidential administrations or in the course of other personnel actions, including but not limited to reassignment, retirement, or resignation. Establishes policy for the departure and arrival of political or certain non-career appointees, including those presidentially appointed Senate confirmed PAS officials, non career senior executive service SES members, Schedule C appointees, and other officials appointed as experts or consultants pursuant to Section 3109 of Title VIII United States Code and Section 129B of Title X United States Code. Assigns responsibilities for the administration, management, and direction of transition activities pursuant to Executive Order 13727. <clears throat> These are the table of contents. General issuance, general issuance information, applicability, policy, summary of change one. Section two is the responsibilities. Uh, DA and M, Director WHS. Director of Pentagon, it just breaks down who all these different people are. Their function, Section 3, is the succession plan. Number Section 4 is DOD transition structure. And then the glossary after Section 4. Section 1, general issue, issuance information, applicability. The issuance applies to OSD, the military departments, the Office of Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff and Joint Staff, the Combatant Commands, the Office of Inspector General of the Department of Defense, the Defense Agencies, the Department of Defense Field Activities, and all other organizational entities within the DOD referred to collectively in this issuance as DOD Components. Policy. The DOD, in coordination with the Executive Office of the President, other executive branch departments and agencies, and the transi transition teams of eligible candidates and the President-elect and Vice President-elect will coordinate and carry out responsibilities required to accomplish an efficient and thorough transition of its political leadership. 
provide for the continu continu ah, con <laughs> continuity. Ah, I can't say it. Continuity. Thank you very much. Continuity of the national security activities of the United States. Mitigate unnecessary disruption from tran such transition in political leadership. Sustain effective and efficient operations within the DOD. Pursuant to Section 113 of Title 10 United States Code, the Presidential Transition Act of 1963, as amended, and Executive Order 13727, the SecDef establishes the DOD transition structure described in Section 4 for the planning, coordination, management, and execution of transi transition activities as such. <clears throat> A Transition Senior Steering Group, SSG, I told you they just love these acronyms, to be chaired by the Deputy Secretary of Defense, DEPSECDEF, can't make this stuff up, and the DOD Transition Task Force, TTF, are established. A senior career official, and I'm just going to quit saying the acronyms, a senior career official for presidential transition is designated and will serve as the DOD's transition director. OSD principal staff assistants and DOD component heads must designate transition assistance coordinators. The DOD will submit updated succession plans to the federal transition coordinator no later than September 15th in a year during which a presidential election is held, as well as identify and prepare interim agency leadership to ensure the continuity of mission operations and the goals listed in paragraph 1.2.A during transition, see section three for additional information. <clears throat> Instructions from the assistant to the president for presidential personnel direct the DOD in coordination of all activities relating to the presidential appointments. This change clarifies the director of administration and management responsibility in paragraph 2.1A regarding designating the DOD transition director corrects terminology in paragraph 4.2. Section two, <clears throat> responsibilities, D, A, and M. In addition to the responsibilities in paragraph 2.9, the D and A and M serves as the DOD transition director if a career executive serves as the DOD transition director if a career executive if the DA and M is a political appointee, an SCO will be designated to serve as the DOD transition director. And this is where all the acronyms start messing with your head. Ensures the DOD transition director or performs these duties if serving as the DOD transition director. Try to hang with me on this. Manages and coordinates transition activities for the PAS officials and other non-career senior officials and employees entering or departing from the DOD due to a presidential transition and in conjunction with the DOD transition structure. Publishes implementation procedures and guidelines for transition activities. Represents the DOD on the federal level agency transition directors council and any other interagency transition meetings as the DOD representative for presidential inaugural matters. Oversees assigned personnel, administrative and logistical functions in accordance with DOD directive 5105.53 to provide the orderly departure and arrival of officials assigned to serve within the DOD. Coordinates with the DOD PTF director and the special assistant to the secretary of defense or White House liaison for personnel administrative matters pertaining to departing and incoming personnel. Upon request, coordinates engagement on transition activities before the election and with authorized representatives of eligible candidates in support of effective transition planning in accordance with the Presidential Transition Act of 1963 as amended and Executive Order 13727. Coordinates with DOD, TTF director and president elects DOD focal point to facilitate support for the incoming administration's nominees for the SECDEF and DEPSECDEF. Integrates security disciplines as appropriate to protect associated DOD information, personnel, facilities, and equipment. During presidential transitions or any other transition of PAS officials, other political appointees, in coordination with the special assistant of to the SecDef for White House liaison, provides guidance to OSD PSAs 
and the Secretary of Military Departments regarding the arrival and departure of political appointees and other officials. Maintains a central repository of military department secretariat and OSD component succession plan information, including a current list of SCOs and ensures reporting of vacancies pursuant to sections 3345 through 3349D of Title V United States Codes, also known as and referred to in this issuance as the, quote, Federal Vacancies Reform Act of 1998, unquote, as amended, FVRA, in parentheses, is done in a timely fashion. Pursuant to Public Law 113-187, Sections 1220 through 1236 of Title 36 Code of Federal, Re Federal Regulations, DOD Instruction 5015.02 and Administrative Instruction 15, the office assigned responsibility by the DA and M for development of this repository must coordinate with the Washington Headquarters Services to identify and submit a record, record schedule for this repository. As appropriate, recommends to the DEPSEC DEF assignment of responsibility for the preparation of confirmation books. Provides leadership orientation training to non-career SES members or selected other individuals appointed to positions within the DOD. Oversees mentoring activities for PAS officials within the DOD. Designates the OSD Historical Office to coordinate exit interviews with departing PAS officials, including those acting as or performing the duties of, to inform the Secretaries of Defense Historical Series specifically and the historical record generally. Records recommended improvements to operations and processes that may enhance the effectiveness and efficiency of the DOD. Designates the OSD Historical Office as the entity responsible for arranging additional oral history interviews with current and former PAS officials to inform the Secretaries of Defense Historical Series and other official publications. Integrates security disciplines as appropriate to protect associated DOD information, personnel, facilities, and equipment. Director WHS, under the authority, direction, and control of the DA and M, the Director WHS provides operational support for the transition of PAS and other senior political appointees for all OSD, PSAs, and DOD components, except for the military departments and any DOD components serviced by a military department may provide operational support for the transition of PAS and other senior political appointees entering or departing from the military departments as required. Such services may be provided on a reimbursable or non-reimbursable basis as agreed upon by WHS and the military department concerned. Establishes comprehens comprehensive operational guidelines and coordinates, coordinates major activities within the WHS and appropriate DOD organizations for administration and support of all transition activities in accordance with paragraph 2.1. <clears throat> Submit required FVRA reports to the Government Accountability Office in a timely manner. Provides other functional support to transitions as directed by the DA and M. Director of Pentagon Force Protection Agency. Under the authority, direction, and control of the DA and M, the Director PFPA oversees all physical security requirements for the transition of political appointees entering or department departing the OSD and those political appointees of the military departments, defense agencies, and DOD field activities. Conducts personnel security training for newly appointed and the, or assigned officials as appropriate. Coordinates for and conducts personal security vulnerability assets assessments for newly confirmed or appointed officials as appropriate as outlined in DODIO-2000.22, ensures newly appointed or assigned officials are covered by the DOD Counter Insider Threat Program pursuant to DOD 5205.16 and takes actions necessary to provide force protection consistent with law and regulations. Establishes comprehensive operational support and appropriate guidelines for the administration of security support of all transition activities within the scope of the agency responsibilities. Such operational support and guidelines may include, but are not, but are not limited to, physical security access permissions and badging, implementation of operations security and countermeasures, 
appropriate training, driver support, alarms, and sensors. Undersecretary of Defense for Personnel and Readiness. In addition to the responsibilities in paragraph 2.9, the Undersecretary of Defense for Personnel and Readiness provides oversight and ensures the DOD meets all Office of Personnel Management deadlines related to certification of PAS officials, positions in the DOD in accordance with Section 8403 of Public Law 108-458, also known as, quote, Intelligence Reform and Terrorism Prevention Act of 2004, close quote, Submission of information on DOD civil service leadership and support position to be included in the United States governmental government policy and supporting positions, the Plum Book. Provides OPM transition guidance to OSD, PSAs, and DOD component heads. General Counsel of the Department of Defense. In addition to the responsibilities in paragraph 2.9, the GCDOD provides advice, counsel, and assistance on all transition activities, provides information, advice, and counsel concerning applicable standards of conduct, laws, regulations, and policies in accordance with sections 201 through 209 of Title 18, United States Code, Section 101 of Title 5, United States Code's Appendix, et cetera, also known and referred to in this issuance as, quote, Ethics and Government Act, close quote, and implementing regulations. And when I said et sequitur, that means from there on forward. <clears throat> Coordinates with the Office of Government Ethics to obtain Office of Government Ethics preclearance of prospective PAS nominee financial disclosure reports and ethic agree ethics agreements. Provides departmental guidance regarding permissible, permissible activities for prospective POS PAS nominees within the DOD before confirmation and appointment. Provides counsel on transition related matters as required, including legal requirements relating to filing both permanently and temporarily PAS, applicable standards of contact, conduct laws, regulations, and policies governing the actions of and other matters pertaining to prospective nominees, incoming and outgoing political appointees, or other such officials as may be required. Use of U.S. governmental, government personnel and equipment, including government transportation. Assist, Assistant Secretary of Defense for Legislative Affairs. In addition to the responsibilities in paragraph 2.9, the Assistant Secretary of Defense for Legislative Affairs monitors activities of the Executive Office of President with respect to the nomination of DOD PAS officials, including the intent to nominate, nominate and the submission of the nomination for Senate confirmation. As appropriate, coordinates the submission of information to and the appearance of DOD PAS nominees before their respective committees considering their nomination. As appropriate, coordinates and oversees official calls and or visits by administration officials to members of Congress or with staffs of such members or oversight committees, including such official calls and visits made before their appointment provides support to DOD transition activities and engages in liaison activities with members of Congress and their respective staffs and committees. Assistant to the Secretary of Defense for Public Affairs. In addition to the responsibilities in paragraph 2.9, the Assistant to the Secretary of Defense for Public Affairs reviews and approves all news media requests for engagement with the DOD TTF in a coordination with the DOD Transition Director, reviews and approves all responses to news media queries regarding DOD transition activities in coordination with the DOD transition director. As appropriate, in coordination with the DOD transition director, prepares official statements and announcements for release to the news media regarding DOD transition activities, succession plans, and political appointees arriving in or departing the DOD, and updates and issues public affairs guidance to bases and stations. Receives and manage all news media queries and requests for engagement regarding DOD transition activities and political appointees arriving or departing. Special Assistant to the Secretary of Defense for White House Liaison. The Special Assistant to the Secretary of Defense for White House Liaison serves as the focal point for the arrival to and departure of political appointees in the DOD. Coordinates with the DA and M, the DOD Transition Director, the DA and M is not serving as the DOD Transition Director and the DOD TTF Director as appropriate on personnel and administrative matters pertaining to departing appointees. 
coordinates with the DA and M O S D P S A S and Secretary of the Military Departments or their designated TACs to provide guidance regarding the procedures for support to arriving and departing appointees of their respective components. Coordinates with the GC DOD standards of conduct of office facilitate timely completion of financial disclosure reports and initial ethics training by arriving non PAS appointees pursuant to the Ethics in Government Act and implementing regulations. Helps develop and support leadership orientation training for non-career SES members or selected other individuals appointed to positions within the DOD. Helps identify and assigns mentors for PAS officials and within the DOD. The OSD PSAs and DOD component heads. The OSD PSAs and DOD component heads. Identify an official within their respective components to serve as the TAC either as required during a presidential election cycle or for the departure of senior officials within their component. Provide timely submission of materials to support agency review team, transition requests for the information briefing, briefings and nomination confirmation books on request. Establish as appropriate succession plans for critical non-career positions to provide for continued continuity of operations in accordance with DOD uh, 3020.04 and the FVRA with separate succession plans for PAS officials. Standing succession plans should include the identification of at least one, either by position or by name, SCO, in the order of succession. The SCO will be recognized as the official responsible for the continuity of institutional knowledge. As officials, out process or on board update succession plans as appropriate. Ensure adequate preparation of career employees to serve in critical non-career leadership positions in an acting or other capacity if these positions become vacant. The SCO, as it relates to this designation, maintains awareness concerning the nature and breadth of the component's activities. Secretaries of the Military Departments. In addition to the responsibilities in paragraph 2.9, the Secretaries of the Military Departments. Ensure proper DOD transition of outgoing political appointees. Coordinate with the DA and M and the Special Assistant to the Secretary of Defense for White House liaison to arrange onboarding and orientation for arriving political appointees. Provide military department specific orientation and support to arriving political appointees. Identify DOD transition support requests to the DA and M. Conduct personal security vulnerability assessments for newly confirmed or appointed officials as appropriate as outlined in DOD IO 2000.22. Number three, or section three, succession plans. <clears throat> individuals awaiting possible Senate confirmation, appointments by the president, and taking an oath of office as PO, PAS officials within the DOD may, at its the discretion of the SECDEF, be appointed as experts or consultants to the SECDEF pursuant to Section 3109 of Title 5, United States Code, Section 20, 129B of Title 10, United States Code, Part 304 of Title 5, Code of Federal, Federal Regulations, and will be provided the information and, when necessary, such limited training or professional development support to allow them to effectively advise the SEC deaf. Individuals appointed as experts or consultants will not presume to act in any capacity as PAS. This includes, but not limited to, making any personnel decisions. These experts or consultants will be appointed and located outside their, their respective organizations to which they are nominated. They may provide expertise or consult within the DOD on current policy topics, receive, brief, receive brief briefings, and become familiar with relevant issues, but will neither offer nor provide views or guidance on matters pertaining to the PAS offices to which they have been nominated. PAS and other non-career officials departing from the DOD may, at the SECDEF's discretion, be appointed as experts or consultants pursuant to Section 3109 of Title V, States Code, Section 129B of Title 10, United States Code, Part 305, 304 of Title 5, Code of Federal, Federal Regulations, following their departure to provide the four proper debriefings, disposition of official records, and other transitional activities in the interest of the United States government and the public. If an incumbent's intention, intention is to leave, whether through reassignment, retirement, or resignation has been documented, the DOD may establish a different position in which to employ a designated successor for a brief period pending the incumbent's departure. For example, 
When a director plans to leave, a temporary special assistant position may be established for a short period to facilitate orientation of the incoming director to the office's operations. DOD authority under this paragraph will not affect or extend to positions within the Office of Inspector General of the Department of Defense. Qualified career civilian employees from the OSD, PSAs, and DOD components will serve in it in an acting status when applicable and in accordance with the FERA for all PAS positions or alternatively be delegated the authorities of the position concerned and serve in a, quote, performing the duties of, close quote, status in critical positions vacated by non-career officials during a presidential transition. DOD transition structure. Purpose. The DOD transition structure is established before a presidential election by the SECDEF pursuant to Section 113 of Title 10 of the United States Code, Presidential Transition Act of 1963, as amended and Executive Order 13727. Its purpose is to plan for, manage, support, and execute DOD transition matters and ensure optimum, optimum efficiency, effectiveness, and communication throughout the transition. Transition SSG upon establishment of the DOD transition structure by the SECDEF. The DEP SECDEF will convene and chair the SSG. The SSG compo is composed of the secretaries of military departments, chief of the National Guard Bureau, vice chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, OSD PSA, special assistant to the SECDEF for White House liaison, DOD transition director, and the DOD TTF director. The DOD TTF director will serve as the SSG's executive secretary. The SSG will meet on a periodic, periodic basis during an election and transition cycle to provide guidance, oversight, and direction to the DOD transition director and the DOD TTF director. DOD transition director. The DOD transition director oversees and implements DOD activities related to the presidential transition. In the event of a vacancy of the DAM, or if the incumbent DAM is not a career official, the DOD transition director is designated not later than six months before the date of the presidential election. The DOD transition director coordinates all support of the DOD under the control of the outgoing presidential administration to the transition of the incoming presidential administration. Ensures department compliance with the executive order of the president guidance and any requirements outlined in the Memorandum of Understanding between the White House and Eligible Candidate Transition Team, which governs the conduct of a transition in accordance with statute. Following the Administrator of the U.S. General Services Administration's ascertainment of apparent successful presidential candidate, the Federal Transition Director will notify the DOD Transition Director of the names for the DOD ART team. Following the election, i.e. the first Tuesday of November, DOD organizations and transition personnel are not authorized to provide sort of support until the ascertainment of a successful candidate in accordance with the Presidential Transitional Act of 1963 as amended and DOD policies. Coordinates with respective coordinates with representatives of eligible candidates before the election and after the ascertainment of the apparent election results with the president-elect's DOD focal point to provide guidance for the development and production of initial transition books, as well as other briefing materials and information provided to the incoming president-elect transition team's DOD ARC. Coordinates with other federal agency transition directors to support non-DOD ARC requested engagements with DOD organizations, e.g. intelligence community ARC engagements with defense intelligence agencies, Implements direction and guidance provided by the DEPSEC DEF through the transition SSG. On a periodic, but periodic basis, reports status and progress being made to the transition SSG. Provides instructions and manages and executes assigned tasks pursuant to SEC DEF and DEPSEC DEF direction. Organizes the DOD TTF and OSD PSA and DOD components tax and other members of the OSD PSAs and DOD components as needed, designates the DOD TTF director, supports the transition of outgoing political appointees, organizes town halls and other briefings to provide outgoing political appointees with important information about federal benefits, security classification review, post-government employment ethics rules. Upon approval of nominations submitted by the OSD PSAs and DOD component heads not later than the September 15th in each presidential transition year, 
designates a career official for each PAS position who would be eligible to act in or perform the duties of such position in the event of a vacancy. It certifies the DOD has completed the broader succession plans for all critical non-career positions. Ensures career employees designated to temporarily assume the responsibilities of critical non-career vacancies are adequately prepared. Oversees and ensures preparation of ITBs and other briefing materials and information related to a presidential transition not later than November 1st of the year during which a presidential election is held. Ensures materials are disclosed or protected in accordance with statutes, policy, and the memorandum of understanding between the White House and eligible candidate transition team. Ensures proper markings and safeguardings of any non-public information provided to the president-elect transition team and ARP members in the conduct of their duties, ensures ITBs do not contain any pre-decisional information, ensures DOD briefers and interviewees receive adequate preparation ahead of meeting with ARP members, e.g. are provided a uh, topic agenda or advanced questions, understand what types of information may or may not be shared. ARP interviews or briefings should be scheduled or conducted with adequate time for preparation and review and approval of read-ahead materials by the DOD coordinates for any non-career holdovers. Recommends to the designated representative of the incoming administration the holdover of any non-career officials who are either close to retirement eligibility or have medical reasons or to ensure the continuity of certain projects, programs, and activities. Upon request of an incoming administration for the president-elect, notifies and confirms the willingness of certain non-career individuals to serve in certain key positions after the acknowledgement after the inauguration, DOD TTF director, the DOT, DOD TTF director provides staff to support the DOD transition director and the outgoing DOD leadership, as well as the incoming leadership to the extent permitted by law by executing a bro the broad range of day-to-day -day functions and activities necessary to efficiently conduct the transition. Leads the DOD TTF to and orchestrates the activities of its elements and or supporting organizations. Oversees transition matters of the OSD and DOD components internal to the DOD. With the DOD transition director oversees the identification, coordination, and support to transition matters that require interagency coordination or are external to the DOD. Captures best practices and lessons learned throughout the DOD transition process and publishes an after action report. OSD PSA and DOD component tax. Each TAC, TAC, serves as the lead representative facilitating and supporting transition matters directly involving their respective OSD PSAs and DOD components. Serves as a supplement member, supplemental member of the DOD TTF supporting department-wide TTF and transition requirements. Here's the glossary of all the acronyms that they have. ART is an agency review team. DA&M is Director of Administration and Management, DEPSEC DEF, Deputy Secretary of Defense, DODD, Department of Defense Directive, DODI, Department of Defense Instruction, FVRA, Federal Vacancies Reform Act of 1998 as amended, GCDOD, General Counsel, Department of Defense, ITB, Initial Transition Book, MOU, Memorandum of Understanding, OPM, Office of Personnel Management, PAS, Presidentially Appointed, Senate Confirmed, PFPA, Pentagon Force Protection Agency, PSA, Principal Staff Assistant, SCO, Senior Career Official, SECDEF, Secretary of Defense, SES, Senior Executive Service, SSG, Senior Steering Group, TAC, Transition Assistance Coordinator, TTF, Transition, Transition Task Force, USC, United States Code, WHS, Washington Headquarters Service. Here's some definitions. Uh, Y'all want me to read those? Here's references. Y'all see the dates on these, February 3rd, 2023. Right here. So now that I read that, 
and didn't have my screen shared. You know, watch me read that. Here you go. Let me show it to you. Residential Transition Act of 1963, Executive Order 1327. You see the date. This everything I just read you guys. So, who knows what's going on, but there it is in black and white. I don't know, put two and two together and figure out what the hell is going on because I don't know. Like, subscribe, share, hit the notification bell, leave a comment below. Fierce Floyd Show at yahoo.com. If you want to reach me by email, fiercefloydshow.com is my website. I am the Fearless Floyd Show across every platform you can imagine. I want to thank all you guys for supporting me. Just got my IMDB profile. Uh, I got classes coming up. Go check those out on the website. I'm going to start putting a whole lot of information in the descriptions below. So y'all pay attention to what I put down there because it's very important information that you guys need to know about. So uh, there may even be Easter eggs hidden in my descriptions from now on. You never know when I'm going to drop a bomb on you guys and how I'm going to drop it. So with that, man, yo guys have a safe and happy weekend and uh, get some fresh air this week.